Hey y'all, back here in my garage. Just kidding, I'm not that guy. So we got all this uh, all this stuff for our kitchen setups. We had a crazy heat wave here in Portland. It was like 106 or 105 or 10 or something. I don't know, it was burning like the depths of hell out here for a couple days. It's still pretty hot, but it's not that bad. So we're getting back to work now. We even got an AC unit, so that'll help us out. We're gonna make some cuts, but I wanna go over the stuff that we got for our little kitchenette set here. Our, uh, what do you call that, a sailboat? A dinghy? No, that's a little boat. I don't know. What's it called in a boat? I don't know. The, I don't know, whatever. So I'm gonna show you what we got. We got this little stainless steel bowl from the Walmart. This one's really cheap. It was like, what, five bucks? Something like that, yeah. Five bucks for a sink. And yes, it is very small, but the reason we wanted a sink was to brush our teeth in the morning and the night, to wash our hands, and maybe to rinse off some silverware for, uh, for actually washing dishes and stuff. Because in order to put a giant sink in here, you'd have to buy a big ass expensive sink and it just seemed like it would take up space that we wouldn't use that, that much. And when I do dishes, when I did them in the Astro, I just use vinegar and a rag, man. Or vinegar and paper towel. But if we gotta wash dishes in this thing, we got these things, collapsible buckets. So we, if we have to, if we get some like super grimy, crusty, disgusting uh, stuff, on our dishes, then we'll have to, uh, you know, use one of these in water and soak them or something. But now we have that option. We mainly just wanted this washing hands and uh, brushing teeth, because um, that's that can be a problem. That can, that's the hardest thing on the road sometimes, brushing your teeth. When you go to park somewhere stealth, you can't get out and spit out your toothpaste. It leaves a residue. It's obvious that someone was there. I'd rather use this. So to do the uh, to do the sink, we got this little guy, and I found out it's a 13 16 inch hole. The, the width of this, so this comes off, and then the little plastic piece comes off. It's actually supposed to go into a pipe, but we don't have a pipe. It's got this cute little strainer in here that you push down and it'll, it'll block the water. And then we got this guy, and these are off of Amazon. I will provide an affiliate link in the description uh, if you'd like to purchase these or check them out yourself. This just screws into here, and it's got a built-in trap. See how the hose goes right here, and there's a little area down here? So water will well up down there, and that uh, I believe that just prevents the stank from coming up from the gray water tank, which is gonna be one of, our, one of those blue buckets over there. We got two of those, one for fresh water, and one for uh, gray water. So we'll just get out and dump them every once in a while. You know, it shouldn't be too hard to find a place to, to dump that water out. And we're gonna use environmental, environmentally friendly soaps and everything, so don't worry, we're not, we're not trying to kill the planet here. So along with that, we got this uh, clear FDA approved tubing, uh, affiliate link on Amazon once again. This stuff was a great deal. I think we got 10 feet of it for, I don't remember how much. Um, and then we got this pump. This is a little water pump. This one turns on, turns itself on when the water pressure gets low. So that means from the out part, so that means when we turn on our sink, some of the water comes out, the pressure gets low, this will turn on itself, don't have to have a switch. I'm going to install a switch in case something happens and I need to turn it off in an emergency. Um, that'll definitely be a smart thing to do. But otherwise, this one flows water at 1.2 gallons per minute and it's only 1.7 amps, max amps is 2.7. So it uses a little bit of power, but it'll be really nice to have some running water. And we got that lithium battery and we can always add another lithium battery if we discover that this isn't uh, enough. And this, this, the pride and jewels. Look at this, look at how this is packaged. Look at this. So this is going to be our sink. We just got a house one. And uh, instead of one of those little RV ones that everybody has, I don't like the way they look. It looks cheap, I don't like it. This is hefty, this is a weapon. You could take somebody out with this if you needed to, but we're not going to. And it's got this hose on it, so you can pull this thing out. We're gonna hook this thing up right here, right next to that the side door that opens. So if we have to, we could take a shower with this. This is not as efficient, this water pump is not as efficient, and I don't think the water pressure is gonna be nearly as good as my little Suwaki uh, portable shower that I reviewed a while ago. I'll link that and the, the unit and the review video uh, if you guys wanna check that out but it's quick and easy and uh, we'll be able to pull this out and rinse stuff off or whatever we need. If we wanna fill up a bucket, uh, we can just pull this over, you know, over here and fill up a bucket or whatever. The water pressure is not gonna be as good as it is in a house because we got the weak pump, but I'd rather have a little bit less than, uh, less than badass water pressure and have more battery life and more water 
than have some insane water pressure. So this is a whole kit. We're gonna figure this out. I, hopefully today we'll have time and get this installed and get the uh, get the sink installed. We need to get a um, a hole saw for the right size hole saw to install this. I don't know if we'll have time to do that today. We might have to do it tonight. Um, but I at least want to get the sink installed and this installed and get some shelves in. So we're gonna get started and uh, make a couple cuts and do a couple things and then show you how we're putting this thing all together. Okay, sorry for the spiel. I thought that the why would be just as uh, helpful to some people at least as the what. So now we are figuring out exactly where to put all the, um, all the stuff. So I just traced out, perfect. it's perfect? Yeah. Nice. So I put this hole here, basically I measured, I traced the inside of this out so I know where that was. And then I used a square and drew a straight line down so that the middle of the sink would be lined up with a bowl here. Uh, I just wanted it as neat and nice looking as possible. And then uh, we got a protractor from Walmart, a little $5 one, and uh, used the center line and uh, drew it out. But first I held up the, uh, the sink right here, actually the whole thing to make sure that this, the end of this faucet right here where my nose is, hits the uh, right smack dab in the middle right here of the bowl so that it, uh, you know, it doesn't splash and it just looks right. It would look so terrible if the, the sink was like all the way off to the side or something. I know like bathroom sinks are in the middle or whatever, but I got a small sink and it drives me crazy when I have to like touch the nasty ass sink, you know, when I'm washing my hands and stuff. So that's the way we're doing it. So now we're gonna cut out this hole cut out this hole, attach this drawer, and cut out the hole for the vent for the fridge. This fridge is not gonna be vented the way it should be, um, just cause the water bottles are gonna be right here. I mean, it's gonna go up to there. It'll, it'll get some air, but I hope this fridge lasts long enough. You really should like leave these vents like totally open, but just can't with this build, so we'll see what happens. This thing's already two years old, so see how long it lasts. It'll be a good testament to pneumatic fridges. Okay, so this next part, we gotta cut out this hole that we uh we just measured out perfectly in this one so for this one this this hole saw we bought is a little too big for the hole for the for the actual sink part to go through the fitting so i'm just going to use this to cut a hole in here and then we're going to use the uh the jigsaw to cut out the, the circle we just measured and then i'll use a big drill bit inside of this for this hole for the sink to go into and i'll cut that out with the jigsaw as well Do like this mm -hmm. just drop it down in there Look how pretty it is! Yay! Look at that! You like? You go like this, and you wash stuff, and then you go uh -huh. on the outside like this, and we'll like rinse stuff on the outside, and then you yeah. put it inside like this. And this even turns. Yeah. Or not like that. I mean, this is yeah. in place, but yeah, get the idea. So pretty. So now the water, when you're washing your hands, is like coming down right onto your hands instead yeah. of like a normal sinks. Like our bat, my parents' bathroom sink, you have to have your hand like on yeah. the sink. I hate that, and you can't just like. <laughs> to like brush your teeth. It's so annoying. So yeah, this is rad. This, this is, is awesome. Pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so next step is to cut the hole in here for the drain. And a lot of people just like, like cut holes in the bottom of the sink or like punch holes out and put like a funnel under. So I think that looks like ass personally. So we're doing it this way. Uh, because this isn't, the, the hole isn't gonna be recessed like on a, you know, manufactured sinks. There is going to be a little bit of water pooling in the bottom, but I'm, I'm not worried about it. It'll evaporate or it'll just sit there. Or when we drive the van, it'll eventually work its way down. I'm really not worried about that. Okay, so the next part is just using this uh, cat or... Um, Holsa. Yeah, Holsa, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I can't remember the names of things. I never can. I think my brain just goes too fast. So I'm just going to mark a spot in here. I'm going to call that the middle. That looks like dead center to me. Yeah. Does it look center to you? Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, I guess there's ways we could measure this or whatever, but whatever. I think that's pretty good right there. Yeah, yeah so I'm just going to take this hole saw and uh, drill this out real quick. Set this right on the hole. I kind of got a feeling that this bowl is going to spin, so I might have Evie put the camera down and hold the bowl so it doesn't spin with this thing. Okay. All right, everybody. So this is our mostly done... Uh, cabinet there's a two things we got to figure out one the water bottles are gonna be right here one is gray one is fresh water we're gonna put uh, one of these down here to kind of hold it in so it doesn't come out and same thing on the other side and then figure out some kind of strap uh, probably drill and bolt a strap to this 
and to this, well on this side of course, that goes around and goes through the handles to keep these in, um, just so they don't fly around or something when we hit a corner or something. And then we're going to put doors on this side, probably mount the pump right here or something, and this, the water from the sink will drain straight down. Uh, that'll be really cool, and then we'll have the sink. I'll probably um, hook up the hot and the cold into the same water thing. I don't know if that's the best way to do it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just do one so that there's more water pressure, because if, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Um, anyway, down in here, I gotta put some kind of putty in there. I wanna glue that thing in. I don't know if I should use JB Weld or what I should use in there. I wanna permanently mount it in there. Uh, I need something that goes stainless steel to stainless steel, and we gotta figure out how to mount this sink in here. Some kind of, some kind of adhesive or something to, to keep that in there. And uh, besides the doors on these two sides, and these two sides, that's that's pretty much what it's what it's gonna look like. Um, also, we're gonna try to figure out something to do with the top. Uh, I don't know, we were talking about, what were you talking about, the pennies? Yeah, like putting pennies. You wanna stand over here, so yeah. we can get good light? Um, putting yeah, we're, pennies, like to make a pattern of pennies in the clear stuff or whatever it's called, I don't know. But that might take a lot of time. Some kind of clear epoxy. Yeah, yeah. we wanna do something that's like, that's waterproof and really easy to clean and easy to, easy to make. Um, just painting the wood doesn't seem like a very good countertop. No. It's, gonna get, it's gonna get gross real yeah. quick and be impossible to clean and chip off. So if you guys have any suggestions on those things, please let me know. Otherwise, that's the video for today. We're gonna clean up and uh, brainstorm these things. Hopefully get some killer suggestions from you guys too. So thanks for watching and thank you for using my Amazon links if you do that, by the way. Uh, quite a few people have been doing that and that's been like a huge, huge help to me so thank you guys so much for uh for shopping through my amazon links and check out uh check this stuff out because this this faucet is i haven't seen a, a van a custom van that's used like nice faucet like this and i love this thing and it was cheap too it was surprisingly yeah. inexpensive and it's really nice so that's it thanks guys love yourself <laughs>